Hello, welcome to Believer's Lifestyle, focusing on Jesus. Today we are on uh, Child Abuse Awareness Africa. And we have something in store for you. Please, if you're blessed while watching this video, I would like you to share this video so that others will be blessed and learn. So, watch this video and let's have a chat. God bless you. Before I go into this video, today I want to talk to you about train up a child in a way that if he should go, he will not depart from it. Train up a child in a way that if he should go, when he grows old, he will not depart from it. That is from the book of Proverbs chapter 22 verse 6. Watch this video please. Are you watching the video? Keep watching the video. I hope you're watching the video. There is no sound in the video, but keep watching the video. Okay, so did you just see what happened in the video? Did you actually understand what the video is all about? No sound, but you could actually see action speaks louder than words. Now we see a lady, I'm very sure this lady is pregnant, right? This lady for sure is pregnant and we see that lady with three kids. Three kids. Maybe the ages range from five years, I don't know, to uh, maybe 10, 12, 14. I don't know. And what I want to talk about is the Bible says in Proverbs 22 verse 6, Train up a child in a way he should go and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Now we see a lady that is pregnant or having children. I don't know if she's pregnant. I'm not really sure about that. But she has three kids with her. That is for sure. And we see this lady leading her own kids to steal, to steal something, something from someone else, from another lady. My question is, what is she doing she is destroying those kids. What kind of generation is this lady training, bringing up for God's sake? How can you, a mother, train your children to become thieves, arm robbers, scammers, prostitutes? Because the truth is that she is training those children to become thieves. The Bible says train them in a way that if they should go, when they grow old, they will not depart from it. Is that how this lady, and I'm very sure it's not only about this lady, there are many people out there, listen to me, there are many people out there who are training up their children to react this way. You understand? There are many people out there who are training up their children to behave like this. My question is this. What kind of training, what kind of training is this lady giving to her own kids? Is that what she's supposed to be doing? Are we supposed to train our kids to become arm robbers? Is that what she wants her kids to become when they grow up? See, the, I'm saying it again. Don't think like, oh, this is the only person who is doing this. No. 
She's not the only one. You'll be shocked that there are many people, many in the society in this world today, who train their kids, who train their children to be to become terrible things in future. You dress your kid, your your child who is two years old like a prostitute, and you expect that child to grow up and begin to dress decently. No, you have built the foundation, and if the foundation is destroyed, what can that child do? The truth is that you have trained that child to dress like a prostitute. And when she grows up, she's going to dress like a prostitute and behave like a prostitute and she'll become a prostitute. You understand? You are training these children to become thieves and robbers. You are there. I don't care what kind of poverty or what has caused her to be to do what she is doing. It doesn't justify her actions in any way. Because she is destroying the lives of those children. Not even her. I, I don't care about. She is destroying the life of those children. I don't care what pushed her to do what she is doing. It is wrong. I don't care. I don't care what pushed her to do what she is doing. One thing I know is that she is misleading those students. One thing I know is that she is destroying the life of those students because there will be a day that she will not be present and those students will want to practice what she has been teaching them. They want to steal and those students will be caught and they will be beaten and they will be killed or whatever. She is misleading them, destroying their life. I don't know where this is heading to, destroying the, 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 the society. We need to stop this. She's not the only one doing this. Many people are out there doing this thing. The thing is that God gave you those children for you to train them properly. You understand what I'm saying? God has given you those children and you have a responsibility as a parent. Listen to me, you all. Listen to me. Listen to me. You have a responsibility as a parent to train them. You have a responsibility as a parent to train those children in a way that will please God. You have a responsibility as a parent to train those children in a way that God will approve of it. The Bible says, thou shalt not steal. I don't think it is the will of God for this woman or for whosoever is out there to train your child in a way that they will, be, they will become... Um, in a way that they would they will become uh um, how can i put it crazy or disobedient to the word of god that is not the will of god to become thieves prostitutes and to follow the way of the enemy that is not the will of god i am 110 percent sure that this is not the will of god for these children for any child out there it is not the will of god it is not the will of god that any of us should perish so i don't see the need i don't see why she should carry those children along train them in this manner how can a mother train her own children to become arm robbers scammers thieves prostitutes it is not the will of god it is her responsibility it is a responsibility for every parent out there to train their children in order in a way that they will become good citizens they will become they will be they will become obedient to the word of god and if you're not doing that then you will be judged you will be held accountable God will ask you this one day and you will answer it. For those who are joining us, I'm going to play the video again. You can see the woman and her kids. They are just there roaming around surveying the environment, trying to make sure that everything is fine for them to steal. How can a woman train her own children to react this way? It's something that is beyond my own uh, uh, understanding. It's beyond my own understanding. It's beyond my understanding. Now you see them, you see the little boy, look at that child. He went to grab it at first and then he, 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 he got scared and came back. Just watch them. Look at those kids, how innocent they are, how young those children are. And you, the mother, that we expect you to have sense. We expect you to know so many things. You are the one leading those children. You understand, you know what life is all about. You are the one leading those children to steal. Look at them. Look at that. Look at those children. Look at that little girl. Look at what that girl is doing. You see? And the mom is standing there, just trying to like make her see she's not there. But she's the one that has orchestrated, has planned all of this. I'm very sure this is what they do. This is what they do. Now see, 
You see her grabbing the bag? She tried and she let it. Now she grabbed the bag. And look at the mom pretending as if she's not there. Look at them running away, leaving. How can your parents listen to me? Parents, listen to me. Listen to me, parents. It's your responsibility to train up those children in a way that will please God. Come on, we can do it. You cannot be training your children to become arm robbers, prostitutes. Come on, come on. And yet we call ourselves Christians. This is not the way of God. It is not the way that leads to, to heaven. It is not the way that Christ will approve us. So we need to stop this nonsense that we are doing to our children. It is your responsibility to train them in a way that God will approve. God will smile. And if you're doing this to your children, you're out there, you're doing this to your children, I want to tell you that you will be held accountable. God will ask you. God will, you will be judged for it. You will be judged for it. Don't expect to train them like this and expect that tomorrow they'll become saints. How will they become saints when you have trained, you have built this kind of foundation? It takes only the grace of God for them to become saints tomorrow. It takes only the grace of God for them to change from what you have trained them to become. Come on, parents. This thing, this thing, we, we desire a lot. Why do you desire something that you cannot afford? And you're putting your children into it. You're messing the life of your children. Eh? The Bible says that, Bible says that you shall not convert your neighbor's house, you shall not convert your neighbor's wife, you or maid servant, or his donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. When you talk about covert, it means that you desire something to an extent, your neighbor's thing to an extent that you want, you want to take it from him. This you shall not do that, but we see them doing it. They are desiring what is not theirs, and they are going to an extent of taking it even. Come on, this is not how God wants us to train our kids, our children. If you are out there and you're doing the same thing, I don't care what you are doing. Listen to me. If you're doing the same thing to your children, you shall be judged. God will judge you if you don't repent. It is time for you to repent. This is a sound warning. This is a sound warning. There is nothing about, oh, they are starving. If they are starving, you can run to an orphanage. You can run to a church and ask for help. You can ask for help from anywhere. Come on, you cannot train your child to become an arm robber. If you are doing this, you need to stop because God will judge you. Repent. If you are out there and you are misleading your children, I don't care how you are misleading them. But if you are misleading them and you are not training them the way God wants you to train them, repent, repent, for you shall be judged. So this is what I came to share with you. If you've been blessed, if you're blessed watching this video, please share it so that someone else will be blessed. This is Child Abuse Awareness Africa. And this platform is Believer's Lifestyle, focusing on no one else but Jesus Christ. And our intention on earth for this, our intention is to please God, is to live a life that will glorify Jesus. If you are out there, you are training your children to do this. If you are out there and you are training your children to, be, to, to, to disobey God, I want to tell you to repent. It's time to repent. Don't say, I didn't know. This is a message for you. Repent. Repent. Repent for judgment shall fall on you and on those kids. So this is what I came to share. I'll play the video one more time if you're just joining us. The video has no, uh, no sound, but just watch and see. See how she's been like making drama and all those kids that God has given you beautiful kids for you to train them well, for you to look after them, for you to guide them. You're using you, you're using selfishness and greed to destroy their lives. See what a mother. I don't I, I'm very sure those are her kids, I'm sure. Look at what a mom is doing to our own children. Beautiful kids. 
because of greed. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is bad. This is bad. Like this is not supposed to be happening. Repent. Jesus is knocking at the door of your heart. And the only way you can change from this is if you know Jesus in your life. Turn to Jesus and ask for forgiveness. The one thing I tell you, if you're a parent out there and you're training your child wrongly, in a way that does not glorify God, you shall be held accountable unless you repent. Stay blessed. We love you so much.